Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today's Friday and the kids have got an inset day at school so I thought we'd go and do something fun, something Christmassy. So we're going to go to the Christmas market and I feel like now is the perfect time. So I don't think we're going to go until after dinner. So I'm either thinking we either set off at half eleven or half twelve. I'm thinking half eleven. I'm going to give them dinner before we go. I know we can eat there. But to be honest, I don't think the kids are going to want to. They'll just want to play, go on the rides and try the festive like snacks and stuff that they have. So we're going to have lunch before we go. And then we can just have snacks and things like that when we get there. But we are really excited. And I've been waiting for this inset day to do this. The Christmas market, I think, has been open now for about two weeks, I want to say. That could be wrong. Uh, but I went to see JLS and when I went... To, wait, was it on when I went to see JLS? No, it wasn't, actually. That was October, so no, it wasn't. I don't know why I was thinking that. Uh, but when we went to Disney on Ice, I think that's why I'm thinking of Jay because we went to the arena. Uh, when we went to Disney on Ice, I think either last week or the week before, I think it was the week before the Christmas market was on then. So it's been open for a good week or so, but I thought, as it's a Friday, most people are at work, most people are at school, um, it'd be quite quiet. And it's not going to be like overly packed or anything. Obviously, I can imagine it will get busier throughout the day. But I think it's just good to go at a quiet time because it can get really stressful when it's very packed. And you've got two kids that are really excited to go on things. So, yeah, less crowds definitely make it a lot easier. So that is our plans for today. We do have a few hours until we go. We're all really excited. we have been saying what we're going to go on. Obviously, we have been, so the kids do have a little bit of an idea of what they want to do. But I'm excited to take them. We went last year, and it was so much fun, but it did rain. Not, like, majorly, but, like, spitting, but that kind of spitting rain that gets you soaked. So it wasn't great, but we had a really good time regardless of the weather and today it's not going to rain at all so that's a bonus so we are going to take you guys along with us and you're going to go to the christmas market with us so we're going to have some breakfast to get ourselves ready do some stuff that we need to do this morning and then and then we can head on out to the christmas market so i've just made myself some breakfast you can probably hear the microwave on right now but i'm just making myself some porridge i don't know if it's just the time of year but every single morning i always want a hot breakfast so like cereal and stuff is just out the window i don't want that like any Anything hot like a bacon sandwich, a fry up, anything. So I've just made myself some breakfast. Cole has got some Cheerios in the living room and I'm going to have some porridge. I was hoping it would be quite thick but to be honest it's not looking thick at all. It's quite watery. Um, I don't know. I prefer my porridge to be much thicker than this. So maybe I put a little bit too much milk in, but let's go and enjoy this. I don't know what it is at the minute, but I always want a hot breakfast in the morning. I can't have cereal, and I love cereal, but I just I just don't want it. I've just always got to have something hot. Why do you sat down? I have no idea what I just said. And I have no idea what I just said, but yeah, I just keep wanting a hot breakfast every day so every single time we go for a food shop i've got to make sure i've got plenty of stuff in for breakfast like muffins um bacon sausages porridge beans spaghetti bread anything like that um depending on what i want that morning um so yeah every single morning for as long as i can remember i've just got to have a hot breakfast i don't know what it is but probably the time of year but yeah i cannot survive that hot breakfast recently so i'm gonna go and enjoy this because i think aubrey's getting up so aubrey's gonna have some breakfast as well but i think she'll just probably have cheerios she's a big fan of cereal we made it to the bus stop where are we going guys are you excited? What are you going to go on first? I'm going to go on the Acer one. <gasps> you went on that last year. You loved that. Uh, I want to go on the Acer one and then on a bossy one. I'm going on oh, the... Oh, yeah, the carousel. Are you guys ready? We're here. It's cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long 
as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere Just So we are now home from what felt like the longest bus journey of my life We are finally home Um I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown of the Christmas market. To be honest, Nottingham is always like one of my favourite Christmas markets. I know that it's not the best and there is better. You've got Winter Wonderland in London. You've got the Birmingham Christmas markets. I've heard Manchester Christmas markets are quite good as well. But for me personally, I wasn't feeling it this year. I didn't really enjoy myself that much, to be honest. I thought the prices were very unreasonable in a lot of the places. And a lot of the stalls there which kind of put me off a little bit and there wasn't that much to do for kids either i did take the kids as soon as we got there on hook and hook and that was five pound each which i do feel like is quite pricey to be honest that is the price that i paid at a theme park for the kids to go on that kind of thing uh, but again you're at a christmas market and i didn't mind too much because the kids could pick any prize that they had available which was fine i can't speak for how much the other games were because i think i saw two other games there was a basketball one and then there was another one next to the hook and up but we didn't go on those so i don't know how much they were but the hook and up we went on was five pound again did think it was pricey but for what you got it wasn't that bad and I can understand it but then when we was walking around and even the drinks like the hot chocolate like you're looking at five to six seven pound like that's expensive um for a drink like I'm pretty sure when I went last year or even the year before I did not pay that I mean I understand we're in a cost of living crisis and nothing is the same anymore is it so that's probably why the price have increased so much but I just could not justify paying half of the prices that they were charging it was just so expensive and put me off a lot but yeah i understand why a lot of people don't go to christmas markets because they are really overpriced and also a little bit disappointing because there wasn't really much for the kids to be honest um like i said there were those three games that i noticed one was included in the hook and up that we saw um but the basketball one definitely wasn't appropriate for my kids like there was no chance that my kids were even going to win a prize with that game at all hook and up was prize every time don't know what the other game was i didn't pay attention they had three rides so they had the ferris wheel which was an absolute no-no because i'm terrified of heights and then the carousel we've been on the carousel um i think about a week or two ago and went to disney on ice uh, we didn't go on it this time because when the kids did want to go on it we had a massive lolly and nowhere to put it and it was massive if you saw the clip and then the other one was the frozen ride and that was it there was more available last year there was singers singing live last year i just felt the vibe more last year and i enjoyed it a lot more and i was so excited to go back this year but it just didn't hit the spot for me. I'm going to try and take the kids to another Christmas market before the Christmas season ends, I think, because that just didn't... That just didn't do it for me. I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it was really pricey. I mean, like I said, I understand this Christmas box is going to be expensive. But I just think what they were charging just wasn't too great. And what they had available wasn't the greatest either. So, yeah, a little bit disappointed. I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't say avoid it. There was good food options, but yeah pricey not enough for kids in my opinion only three rides and there was more last year so yeah a little bit disappointed but yeah we are now back home the kids are just chilling for a bit we're quite tired to be honest from the journey back because it took that long so i'm gonna make us some dinner and i think we're gonna watch a christmas film soon and then i think we're gonna settle down for the night after we've had some dinner with some hot chocolate so we've had our dinner and no surprise i've got to go to the shop because we need something again i feel like i'm constantly in the shop every single day i don't know if any other family feels my struggle with this but seriously every single day i need something every single day i'm in the shop the shop gives a probably sick and tired of seeing me so originally we just needed bread and i wasn't going to get any today because we don't really need any for tomorrow we're not really going to be here we're out all day and we're not going to be back till late evening and when we are back we're not going to have any dinner or anything because we would have already had it whilst we're out um 
so yeah, we just basically we didn't need any. Um, not right now anyway. But then I was making Aubrey some milk and realised that we need milk. So we can't go without that. Aubrey drinks it a lot. And obviously we have hot chocolate. So we go through more than usual. So we're going to have to go to the shop. Uh, the kids are going to come with me. And they're going to get some sweets uh, or chocolate. Whatever they decide that they want. Um, and then I think we're going to come back. And we're finally going to make those hot chocolates that I've been craving all day today. So we have just put the Grinch on. Do any of you two want hot chocolate? Anyone want hot chocolate? I do. Nobody want hot chocolate? Just me then. I do. You want hot chocolate? I can help you. Do you want hot chocolate with cream? Yeah. You like cream? Are you sure you don't want one cold? Yeah. Mommy, I want it. I want to help you. Hot chocolate. You want to help me? You can help me. Let's go make the men. Hot chocolate is all done. Cole tried to help me with this blessing, but our whipped cream is actually really tough to get out of the bottle, bless him. So he's a little bit gutted, but he tried his best and I'm sure it's going to taste amazing with Cole's little touch to it. Hot chocolate. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I have got a very busy evening. I am going to edit this YouTube video. I'm also going to get it uploaded. Hello. Hi. Oi, I think I did a boy's a lot of. I put a lot of edges in. Hello. Look at it. Mommy. Hi. I have no idea what I was saying, but Cole had a good time anyway, so I need to edit this YouTube video and upload it, I know I said that, and I'm also going to get some housework done because we're not really in this weekend, so I just kind of want to have a big clean tonight and get anything done that I would like to get done tonight and just basically have a productive evening i've not really had a productive day but that would probably be because we've been out and we've been having some family time and let me add much needed time together i love my days with the kids it's always so much fun even though we did find the christmas market a little bit of a disappointment um we still did have a good time i think it's good if you like into food because there was a lot of food options i saw loaded burgers i think they had obviously the German sausages and burgers and things. Wait, might not have been burgers. Might have just been sausages, but anyway. They did German sausages. Um, they had noodles, they had cheeses, they had like chocolate fondue, like marshmallows and things like that. They did used to have strawberries, but I didn't see strawberries today. What else did they have? They had chestnuts, they had Bailey's hot chocolate. I think there was a bar area where they sold like mulled wine and things. So I feel like if you're an adult and you want to have some like food, especially me, I absolutely love food. It is good, but in terms of like things for kids this year, I think it was lacking in that department. So hopefully next year will be a little bit better. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I've got a busy, busy evening trying to get these kids to bed, which I don't think is gonna happen. It's not eight o'clock yet, but they are very tired. We are all very tired. I am still tired from that bus journey. I don't know what it is, but I'm just so tired today. Probably because my sleep schedule just isn't great. I didn't go to bed until gone midnight and then Cole woke up at gone seven and there was me thinking it's an inset day, we're gonna get a lion. I was wrong, we are not gonna get a lion. Um, and he went to bed pretty late as well so I was actually shocked to see him up so early but I think our body clocks are just so set on early times in the morning that we naturally just wake up early every single morning regardless of what time we go to bed so that's our life now I guess but yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys did enjoy if you do know any Christmas markets they're any good and got a good amount of option for children let me know because I'd love to check them out and hopefully somewhere a little bit better than Nottingham this year so if you guys did enjoy this video please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'd be extremely grateful and if you haven't already click that notification bell it will notify you every single time I upload a video and I'll see you in the next video